All right, coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between Gilbert Burns and Tony Ferguson. All right, so here he is, the former UFC interim lightweight champion, Tony Ferguson. And here's a guy who a lot of these fellow lightweights believe represents the toughest matchup for them. Just hard to know what's coming. Truly a five-tool player, and he will look to put all those skills to good use yet again here tonight. I mean, you point to the Josh Thompson fight, and the beautiful elbow that he landed to split him open, and it shows you the diversity of Tony Ferguson. And you have to remember, he was a national champion at Grand Valley State University. So if he needs to, he can be a guy that has the ability to take you down and just brutalize you on the ground. Not only brutalize you, but he has a great ability to submit his opponent as he showed when he won the title fight, Kevin Lee. And he is most happy when he's in a fight, right? Certainly a guy who loves to train as is well documented. Just the way he attacked the knee injury rehabilitation just shows you his true colors. And I know I speak for the MMA fans around the world. Very happy to see El Kukui back in the octagon here tonight. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting to step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. Eve Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, six losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony El Kukui Ferguson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of. 20 wins, four losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at a Boca Raton, Florida, Gilbert Durinho Burns. Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. You've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this game. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. Tags him with the left. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Ferguson. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempts to get past his guard. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. 
Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Nice. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for El Kukui, Tony Ferguson. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Single collar tie now. Right hand punch. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Nice kick there by Tony Ferguson. High-level mixed martial arts. That's exactly how you do it. Set him up on the feet, promptly put him on his ass. It was beautiful, guys. The way he got his hands up to defend his head, he level changes, gets to the takedown. Beautiful. Perfection. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Ferguson. We approach the one minute mark in the first round. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Ferguson's has got full mount now. 20 seconds to go in round one. Solid strike on the ground. Round two straight ahead. While we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. Are you ready? You ready? Fight. Second round underway. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? One, two, punch by Burns. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, timely hook. Oh! Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Fantastic takedown win. Oh, nice. Countering, it looks like with a bomb flu choke, or maybe we should call it the OSP now, but trying to get out of the guillotine by submitting his opponent. Incredible. Get out of there. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. That one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. That one is thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Boy, Todd Clark. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Try to establish that jab. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice connection there by Tony Ferguson. You're probably glad you never had to prepare for a fighter like this in your day. I've never seen anything like that, and I'm not sure there's anyone like that going up in the weights. Tony Ferguson does not give you any idea of what you're facing. When you're in there, you're confused. 
He doesn't give you any type of pattern inside the octagon. He's gonna get himself knocked out. You gotta take a moment. Beautiful takedown lane. And he landed the right hand there. Ferguson's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And Ferguson, I have to say, absorbing those strikes quite well. Oh, straight right. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, so he's got him in the north-south position now, DC. If you're the top fighter in this situation, what are you trying to do offense? I'm trying to force some sort of action from my opponent. You want him to turn to his knees, either give you the guillotine choke or allow you to try to chase the back. It's a tough position to control in, but there are options for finishes and are options for positional advancements if you're patient. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Oh! to find a home for that jet. Great punch landing with so much power. Great action to get that kick. All right, so we will get to the end of the round, DC. We're going to show you some highlights here. Liver damage inflicted and not by alcohol tonight. I mean... <laughs> You're funny, John. This guy is worse than any alcoholic beverage you can ever drink because these strikes to the body hurt so bad. They are debilitating. They are the types of strikes that end most people's nights. Ready? Ready? 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Ferguson's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Straight right hand, no good. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job fighting. Oh, he was looking. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, he's been pretty accurate today. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Gets up again here, but hurting. Oh, he's got it going now. No! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Beautiful level change. This might just be a matter of time. Oh, wow, oh, oh! Wow! Good guys work. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage. Final minute now of round four. Just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, ten seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Gilbert Durinia Burns! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And it's got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make